Hey everyone, Genome here, just to give you some uh, direction on how to get all three of the swing while moving weapons. The first up is the Holbein Dagger. Uh, all three of these weapons are found in the inverted castle, so you have to actually uh, beat Richter, or unless you glitch it out. But So this first one's in the uh, laboratory, the Holbein Dagger. Uh, the only one of these weapons is not great. <laughs> so... Uh, we're going to be fighting um, Lesser Demons specifically, but there's a pretty cool part to this little weapon hunt, which is super easy, actually. Uh, there's two different enemies here that are actually drop some pretty good stuff. The Lesser Demon drops the uh, whole bean dagger and the Obsidian Sword. That's a two-hander. It's not great, but most two-handed swords aren't outside of the katanas. Uh, right here, you now you see some uh, Obsidian Sword action. Um... But the other thing here is the fire demons, and they drop both the fire shield and the martial sword. Marcel, sorry. Uh, you'll see it here in just a second. I get a drop on one. And uh, both of those are really good, especially the fire shield. Um, and the martial sword probably has the best animations of swords in this game. Um, and neither of them broken. But anyway, we're talking about the whole bean dagger. Uh, once again, of course, you can swing while uh, moving. So that makes a very strong weapon, typically speaking. But, once again, it's not that great, and it's because the range is so severely limited. But just keep killing lesser demons. A lot of times you'll get this by accident. <laughs> um, this one actually took me a little longer than usual to get, uh, just by progressing in the game. Uh, I never really had to hunt for this one at all, uh, which is different than the other ones you'll see coming up here shortly. All right, so next up is the Vorpal Blade. Uh, easily the most difficult farm uh, of these three and one of the hardest ones in the game for me. I literally, I probably did this a hundred times originally to get the one that I have, and I wasn't able to get one in this uh, bit of recording, so I just didn't want to bore you with it. I'll show you a few things. Uh, if you'll notice, for all those hunts, you're probably going to want to use the Alucard gear for the massive luck increase that you get. And I'm undecided whether leaving two Ring of Vardas on is better uh, as opposed to one uh, Ring of Arcana for the rare drop thing. For this one in particular, so I can three-shot the archers, uh, I'm going to switch to Varda. But, you know, your mileage may vary. And I only fight one of the archers here and just reset the room rather than go all the way down. But there's about three or four of them on this one, but there's full of, like, little demons and everything. It's, it's a pesky little board, so I would prefer just to go back and forth here in this little area, just fight two enemies, and then reset the room. Um, you can also use luck potions to help out in this uh, a little bit, and sometimes the sword familiar actually helps here. He's about the only one that seems aggressive enough to make much of a difference on those archers, but this is a terrible grind, but it's definitely a middle-of-the-road as far as these go, but it's probably, you know, objectively probably the second-best weapon in the game. It basically swings as fast as you can tap the button. Um, it's still pretty horribly broken, though. Gonna, gonna, not gonna lie, uh, but it's nothing compared to the chrysogram. But so yeah, this one's super rare, and it'll probably test your patience quite a bit <laughs> to get it. But uh, anyway, uh, this is how you get. This is the enemy, the archer up there on that little sled is it drops the vorpal blade. And finally, the chrysogram, the most disgusting weapon in this game, as you'll see right here. Uh, it slashes like four times per button press. It's disgusting. Plus, not only that, you can, uh, of course, move while swinging. So, incredibly powerful. We're going to switch once again to the Alucard gear. And this one took about 20 times. Um, this is There's two rooms here you can do this very easily on. I prefer this one because the other one has a scarecrow that can actually knock you out of the screen, screws you up. So, in the sp space I was there, uh, all you got to do is go down, crouch, swing once and then hit the uh, backslide, and then it takes you out. So it's minimal movement, easy farm, probably the easiest farm of all of these, actually. Um, and then you too can be blessed with the most disgusting thing in the world. That's equipping one in each hand. And then you were just, <laughs> forget it, there's nothing in here that's going to last more than two seconds against you. So, yeah, um, I'll go ahead and show you the other room here real fast, and I'll, I'll let the video play out a little bit longer because I wanted to go over something real quick is the fact that if you want to actually enjoy this game outside of maybe the Holbein Dagger, which is not good, 
uh, you probably shouldn't go for either of these weapons because it really it's it's not fun. I mean once the novelty wears off it's not fun anymore because there's no challenge left whatsoever and the game's not exceptionally hard as it is so yeah use it at your own risk I just like to farm up rare stuff so um, yeah there's there's all kinds of different combinations uh, you can do I just prefer the portal blade it's a little more interactive because you actually have to push the button but it's still horribly horribly broken as you'll see as I leave out here you're you're slicing dice -o matic so Anyway, that's a quick brief overview on how to get these amazing weapons. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And until next time, this is Genome Gaming, signing out.